Hi everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to my channel. In the last video, you have seen about the samosa recipe and also our iftar preparation. I came up with another Ramalan preparation recipe, very easy recipe to cook during Ramalan days. So keep watching. If anybody newly watching my video, kindly subscribe. First, I'm going to show a chicken cutlet recipe. I have taken a chicken piece and two potatoes for boiling. For chicken, I have added a pinch of salt and pepper powder. Now the chicken and potatoes are cooked. I am going to take it out and smash the potato, shred the chicken into small pieces and keep it aside. Let's start the preparation. Now add a little oil to the pan. Add cardamom, cloves, one large onion, one tomato, green chilli, capsicum, small spoon of salt and sort it well. I don't have a ginger garlic paste so I have added a ginger garlic powder. Now add shredded chicken and mashed potato. Now for the masalas let's add turmeric powder, chilli powder, garam masala and pepper powder. Ok, now the cutlet filling is ready. I have set up two bowls, one with flour, one with uh, beaten egg and uh, one plate with breadcrumbs. Rub the oil in the hand so that it won't be sticky. Take some chicken filling for the cutlet. Roll them into the nice even sized patties, coat it with the flour, shake off with any excess flour, dip it in the beaten egg, then again coat it in the breadcrumbs. Press the breadcrumbs into the mixture to ensure they stick very well. Now the cutlet patty is ready. I am going to froze them in the fridge. This will be very useful for Ramalan days. Let's heat the oil. Once the oil is hot, add the cutlet. Fry the cutlet for 2 to 3 minutes until they are brown. Now the cutlet is ready. You can serve with your dipping sauce. Ok next is kunafa, for kunafa dough I got it frozen one from the supermarket. Now first let's make the sugar syrup. For the syrup I am adding 1 cup of water, half cup of sugar and half a lemon. I am not adding much sugar. If you like sugar more you can add 1 cup of sugar. I am also adding 1 cardamom, little saffron for the flavor. Ok the syrup is ready now. For the kunafa, I have taken frozen one. I am using only half portion. In a bowl, mix the kunafa dough with butter until it is well coated. I have taken unsalted butter here. Ok, the mixture is ready now. In a pan, I am spreading a bottom layer. Make sure to spread evenly. Now I am adding this thick cream. You can also add a cream cheese, sweet cream or mozzarella cheese also. Cover the cream with remaining dough. Again make sure to spread evenly. I am cooking this in the gas stove. You can also cook this in the oven. Make sure to cook until it is golden color. Kunafa is almost ready. Let's add half of the syrup here in the pan. Balanced syrup I am adding here at the plate. That's it, the tasty kunafa is ready.
for Ramalan iftar. Next, I'm going to make a fruit custard. It's very simple. Everyone knows that custard powders are available in all the supermarket. Here, I'm heating half liter of milk. In that time, I'm adding two spoon of custard powder and sugar. Sugar you can add as per your taste. Okay, the custard mixture is ready now. Let it cool for a few minutes. Now you can add chopped mixed fruits as per your choice. Mix it well. Keep the fruit custard in the refrigerator. Serve the fruit custard chilled. Now I'm making agar agar pudding. For this, I'm taking half liter of milk. Now I am adding two cardamom for a good flavor. Now I am adding the soaked agar agar. The agar agar melted completely. Now I am adding ruhafsa. It will give good flavor. It is a very simple pudding. You can also add vanilla essence. You can make this pudding with a tender coconut also. Next time I will try to put tender coconut pudding recipe. Now it's ready. Let it cool down. For iftar drink today I am making ruhafsa. For this I am adding ruhafsa, lemon, fresh mint leaves and water. You can add ice cubes also or you can keep it in the fridge. It's a very tasty drink for iftar and summer time also. Thank you for watching my videos. I hope you like it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to be notified of new videos. Also leave a comment and let me know what you think of my videos. Thank you for your support and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you.